Welcome everyone to part 2 of Let's Play Corpse Party 2021 edition. Uh, today we're going to continue with chapter 1 and Naomi's and Seiko's story. Now last time we finished with the character introduction. If you uh, if you have if you missed the character introduction, uh, if you missed the first episode here is um, a small link to the uh, to the first episode. Click on the uh, exclamation mark, um, and yeah, you can watch the first video. But let's jump right in. All right, so there we are in Heavenly Host Elementary. Uh, hey, Naomi? Huh? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out. I forgot all about it. I think I sprained my ankle when I fell. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it will heal on its own. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, playing around with the... Uh, <laughs> with the... Um volume of the game a bit for myself because i feel like you can echo like you can hear for the microphone the music of the game because the music it do be loud a bit uh, do be a bit loud so yeah. i can walk at least i'm sure it will heal on its own yeah but you shouldn't push yourself here lean on my shoulder okay okay thanks aren't they cute the shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs that there's a door in the back of the room, but just as with the windows, it seems to be fixed in place like a decoration. Uh, nineteen seven blank uh, September. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, eighteen. Date duty Ko Ortsuchi. The chalk's been worn away in a few spots, leaving the date on the board somewhat vague. Heavenly Host Elementary. Oh wait, we're gonna read this in uh, in my uh, newscaster voice. Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students: Due to the recent kidnappings, caution is highly recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal Takamina Yanagihori. Wait a sec. <laughs> Another earthquake? <laughs> no. I, I hope you guys like my uh, impression of a 16-year-old schoolgirl from Japan. No. Is is it over? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had enough. Well, let's just get out of this room. Dot, dot, exclamation mark. What? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made some of the floor collapse? Yeah, maybe. Alright. So here's our bucket with piss. There's a yellow flute congealing inside the rusted bucket. What the heck is this? Pee? Ew, don't say that. If you should encounter any dead ends, be sure to examine any spots on the wall or floors nearby that seem peculiar to you. Like this one? The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. That's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you. Yeah, sure. A plank of wood pried up from the floor has seen better days, but still seems, but still seems relatively sturdy. Acquired a loose board. And with that, we should be able to cross. 
The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Hey Naomi, what about that loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Like a bridge. Hmm. I don't know, it seems kind of a beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Try it. The loose board has been set into place. Hmm? This candle... I could swear I've seen it before. Alright. Uh, let's save. Those obviously were like... I, I played through this chapter uh, once. Um, but I've never played through this entire game, so... Yeah, those um, were safe games from, from my first playthrough of this chapter. Such tiny shoes. This really was an elementary school, huh? Yeah. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yeah, all those mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. And while wo dad's working to put some food in them, I get to be the house frau. <laughs> yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids, so somebody would need to be around. You're pretty amazing, Seiko. High schooler and mom all rolled into one. I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. I just have to get back to them though. Guess it's the same for you too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One way or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet! Entranceway. The heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely or unwilling to open through any normal means. Ugh, no good. It won't budge. It didn't feel like it gave at all. In fact, I don't even think we'll, we'll be open to. F Wait, what? I don't think we'll be able to open it by force. Man, so close and yet so far. Well, guess we'd look. We better look for another way out. Yeah. <laughs> kind of climb, uh, like, kind of falling over the words. If the first floor is no good, maybe there's an emergency exit on the second floor or something. We should head back up and see. Yeah, maybe. Okay, no voice acting for that line. Weird. But yeah, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of falling over my words right now. Also, um, you might notice that there's no clickety sound other than like in the first episode. Um, <laughs> the reason is I switched over actually from uh, from my keyboard to uh, gamepad just because I noticed that like the, the the clickety sounds were actually pretty audible in the video. The loose board is dangling pre precariously over the edge. Pick it back up. Yes, please. Acquired loose board. <clears throat> Alright, so the first floor is gonna be a no no for us. The gap is relatively narrow here. It's okay, yeah, it's just use it. Use it. Just 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 use it. I don't give a shit. Alright, nothing here. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way through. Okay. Please, wait. Huh? You say something, Seiko? Huh? It wasn't you? I definitely felt a presence of some kind. Hmm. 
Maybe later. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what's in this room. Huh? <laughs> Ow, what's wrong, Naomi? <laughs> Look, over there, aren't those bones? Like, people bones? <laughs> what? Why? Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Like, you're in a ghost school that shouldn't exist with bones and definitely go check them out. What could what could possibly go wrong? Oh, it wants me to do it? Okay. Dot, dot, dot. They really are somebody's bones. No! Seiko! You too. Uh, you too are new victims. Are you not? Uh, uh, ghost? Who, who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined just like you. We're here confined. Yeah, we're, no, we already know this is Heavenly Host Elementary. Confined. Confined? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. This school exists in a reality all its own. Cut off from the world you know. So, why? Have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into the school. More and more all the time. Sinless innocence. One after another. This is a curse. Multi-dimensional nexus, multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Closed space, or perhaps closed spaces. You, and we as well, are the unlucky victims of an inescapable abduction. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in the school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. <laughs> oh my god, that's such good news, Naomi. They're here, we're not alone. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> that means Machida's here too. I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? <laughs> However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in the school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this one. 
Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Uh, oh god, is there no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they? And why, are and why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors, nor a means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space. And that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. There's a question mark. No! N Naomi, run! We have to get out of here now. O okay. Pan, pant. Cough. Are you all right, Seiko? Yeah. But what the hell was that? A child spirit? You just left the room. Like, it's this is not a safe area. Like, you ran like f five meters or something. It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we're talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It will be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Alright. Uh, I guess we can just go back to the room. Help me. Help me. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. So in this game... Oh, no, I didn't wish to exist. exit. Um, so in this game, you can find name tags of characters. Oh, I already... Oh, because I already played this chapter. Wait, did I already finish chapter 2 as well? Anyways, because I already finished this chapter, we already have all the name tags that are able to be found here. Uh, <laughs> just gonna read for all of them, I guess. Koito Fujiwara, Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1 2. Koito Fujiwara, Cause of Death, Skull Crooked Open with a Blunt Instrument, Age 15. Uh, Yuzuha Mikami, Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1 2. Uh, Ripcage Smashed in with Blunt Instrument. Alright, so both of them were killed with a Blunt Instrument. Also, Seisei Academy for Girls, same class, Sasha Shinonome, ribcage smashed in with blunt instrument, age 16. I, I seem to find, like, there's a there's a pattern here. Okay, same class, same school. Asuka Kato, skull cracked open with blunt instrument, age 16. 
All right, and these two are from a different school. Misa to Municipal Brotherhood High, Class 3 4. Yoshiyuki Shinohara, caught in a trap and bled out, age 18. Uh, same school, different class, 3 6. Shin Aichi, trapped in classroom, starved to death, age 17. All right. So four girls and two dudes. The shelves are filled with overflow um, with long hair. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. What the heck is this? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? All right. 1973, September 18th. Heavenly Host Elementary, notice to all faculty and students. Oh, and it says, I'm going to kill you. Like, it's written all over it. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, let's, let's use a different save file. Alright. No running in the halls. Any student caught running will be severely disciplined. Um, by who? Classroom 3A, the door's locked. Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you will kill one another. Nice, that is very encouraging. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Okay, so I need another loose board. Uh, oh god, what the hell is this? It's it's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. It smells so meaty. Why are you saying that? Also, the the flies flying around in my ears are are kind of like adding to the atmosphere. S Sorry, are you okay, Naomi? Uh, I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. Okay. <laughs> Should we inspect it? What's what, what is it gonna say? Okay, it's, it doesn't say anything. All right. <coughs> Infirmary. The door is locked. Yeah, as you can hear, I'm still a bit sick, but try our best to produce more content, like the patch notes um, and other stuff. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole <laughs> in the ceiling above the body. Wait, what? Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Holy shit. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left of the uniform. Give me one second. Let me uh, take a sip of water. Mm. Alright, let's continue. There are several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Koito. I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody's fine, Yuzuha. Come join us. Asuka. Alright. Uh... Seikyo Yoshi Gakuin. 1, 2. Yuzuha Mikami. Oh, that's a Seisei Girls Academy or something? Probably a Japanese name. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why? Have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. 
Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. <laughs> it will work out for us though, I'm sure of it. <laughs> dot dot dot. Oh, there's doubt spreading in their minds. Oh, what are you? <clears throat> if you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who've died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Alright, thanks for the info. So basically inspect everything, huh? Classroom 4A, the door seems to be attached to the wall like a sculpture won't budge to the slightest. Basement, the door is nailed shut and won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagihori. Seems like he's hiding something. There's skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking closely, you can see a student ID name tag. Uh, okay. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yuzua's body, I saw a black shadow, but I didn't tell anyone about it. And now, it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a fake layer of dried blood. Uh, okay, maybe I should not stick around where I am right now. You know what? <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just going to ignore this room, but I'm kind of scared. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. Okay. Wait, how is the skeleton still sitting? How... Is it possible for a skeleton to sit like that? Like with the spine being like upright and stuff? Is that possible? Not even sure. Uh, Deidi, Shinonome Kano. Oh, there's something on the ground. Wait, okay. Who are you? Someone else has this thought echo in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. Okay. So, when we come in the back, it jumps to the front. So, how about one of us waits over it, uh, for it over there? Okay. So, from the wall, two steps to the right, one step down, two steps to the right. Okay. So, from the wall, two steps to the right, one step to the front, two steps to the right. Is this the spot where we, where we saw that weird glowy thing? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think that is the spot, right? I, I, it would be embarrassing if, if I even said it out loud. It would be a bit embarrassing. It disappeared. 
And it doesn't seem to have made the jump over to here either. Oh, really? Wait. Oh, so I fail? I actually fail? Okay. Uh, one to the... Wait, from the wall. One to the right, one down, two to the right. Okay. One to the right, one down, two to the right. Okay. So basically, I was one step off. Because I went two to the right, one down, two to the right. Okay. One to the right, one down, two to the right. Okay. Alright, stay right there. Let's try this one more time. And... Let's see. Jump. <laughs> there we go. Almost got it. <laughs> gotcha. Naomi, I got it. You did? Nice job. Turn out to be this. Infirmary key. A shiny metallic key with a pretty wide finish. The attached label re reads infirmary. A quiet of infirmary key. Just to show what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> we make a great team. Alright. So we got the infirmary key. That was on the second floor. And, uh, alright. Let's explore a bit more. Custodian's closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a de decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of TV setting coming, uh, coming out coming from with him. I, I have to admit, I think it's because it's so hot and now like I'm playing this um, 2D horror RPG which is like a lot of reading. So my eyes are kind of falling, like I'm, I'm kind of falling asleep while I'm recording this. Um, <laughs> so it's a bit embarrassing, but yeah. Um, we also at a 30 minute mark, so um, I'm going to play a bit more and then... We're gonna finish for today. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, <coughs> sorry, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag uh, on this one. Based on the coarse soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair, hairs scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. Okay, no, no name tag. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please don't give up. I want you to keep living. For the both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. She... Okay. I was like, okay, she looked over to her, so maybe... Um, there was something. <sighs> First, all the windows and doors and outside walls of this school are completely immovable. You can't open them, you can't break them, you can't bust them down. Anything that doesn't load in, uh, outside, wait, anything that doesn't lead outside the school though, like the hall windows in the classrooms, can be affected to some extent or another. Second, just as some people are inherently good or bad-natured, some of the ghosts in here are good while others are quite nasty. The more kind and gentle spirits shed a pale blue light, while the less savory types appear in blood red and glow like fire. It hurts. Having the tendons in the heels of your feet sliced out is so excruciating. I'd rather my feet be cut off altogether than have to bear this pain. My only solace is knowing that when I die, it will stop hurting. But sis, before I go, I want to see you one more time. I want to hug you. I don't want to die alone, sis. I don't want to die at all. I'm scared. That That is understandable, though. Like, that is actually, especially in that young age. Like, no one's like 15 in a ghost school and it's like, you know what, let's just die. You know, like everyone just wants to continue living. My dear sis, blank. The increasingly messy lettering on the paper becomes completely illegible at this point. Why is she taking a step back? Live, sister. Live for us both. I just want to be freed from this pain. 
Okay, so uh, this is the end. Okay, the, this is the end. You know. Uh, what song was that? I think that was a uh, fairy tale come back. Come bad. <laughs> I'm always gonna be the. I, whenever I like misread something, or like often when I misread something, I make like a weird sound with my mouth. Like. No, wait. I, I, I can't remake the sound. It's just a sound that I, oft, that I often make, you know? Or something like that, I don't know. Okay, so we got the infer- Oh, wait, what is that? There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you. Yeah, sure, let's fucking go. A plank of wood pried up from the floor has seen better days, but still seems relatively sturdy. Alright, as soon as we find, like, a... Uh, a safe spot? Or we're going to take a break. Infirmary. Alright. Use the infirmary key. The door is now unlocked. Has an eerie feeling. Okay, there's a... Okay, let's inspect the door then. Uh, the, the, the room. Mass quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both its blades covered liberally in blood. Wash your hands with soap. Okay, that's that's something you should do, especially during uh, a pandemic. There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted, and the page can't be turned. Okay, what is? Uh, can I interact with you? There's an old journal on the. Okay, yeah. There's a lamp on the desk. But it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Not creepy at all. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on, the sh on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. What did they need all these for? The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am for uh, for Satoshi. You mean? Uh, okay, sorry. Wait, she's a she's a student. Uh, it's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it will probably never light again. A box of matches on the ground next to it. Take them, yes, please. Acquire box of matches. All right, this is where we uh, this is where we take a break. Uh, I. <laughs> I don't feel like we've come far, to be fair. Uh, but I think in the next episode, we're going to have all endings of chapter one. Um, so, okay, let me say first. Do you wish to exit? Yes. All right, so the way we're going to do this is um, I'm going to edit it so that, like, we're going to see the normal the the true ending the ending that leads to the next chapter first and then i'm going to put in the bad endings um so i'm going to show the true ending first and afterwards i'm going to cut in um the bad endings and also um a little info as to how to achieve those bad endings for those of you who are interested in achieving um the bad endings but yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh, don't play the intro, because the intro is going to get me DMC8. We showed the intro in the first episode, and Yuji was like, yo, DMC8, bro. I was like, okay, fair. Um, but yeah, so we're going to end the stream here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode is going to be out next week, or maybe later this week. Um, but most, most probably, it's going to be next week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and next week is going to be next episode is going to be the important episode with all the endings um so tune in